guys welcome to java charter a brand new channel and new tutorial series in this video i am going to share my microsoft az204 certification renewal experience with you guys as i recently passed the renewal exam if you find this video informative then please give a thumbs up also if you have any questions suggestions or query you can put that in the comment section below the video so let's go ahead and start about this video so this video basically helps you to understand how you can get your role based azure certification renewed to stay relevant for another one year so before i start about the video let's check some faqs so starting from june 20 21 role based and specialty certification started to expire after the one year unlike the uh, two years expiration date so certification earned before the june 2021 remains valid for two years from the date which uh, associate or any uh, learner learned now renewal does not apply to the fundamentals certifications so in azure uh, case it is a az900 so they do not expire now when you renew a certificate it adds one year validity uh, in the certificate for initial expiration date so let's say if you have earned the certification in december 2021 and if you have uh, given the renewal certification in let's say october 2022 so it will extend the validity uh of uh from the date when you initially gave the exam now if you fail the renewal exam you can retake the exam after 24 hours if your certification expires then in in that case you will have to pass the certification again in same old fashion way by passing the respective exams i want to highlight some good points about the renewal exam so renewal assessments are shorter than the original exams and focus only on the latest changes these are the free assessments so there are no any charges this can be given at any time so it's a flexible the time duration is very short compared to the original exam also there are no any limits so you can retake the exams as many times as you want but the condition is before it expires also you no need not to turn on your camera while giving the exams these exams are not proctored assessment so it is not supervised one important point when i was uh, searching in google uh, for this exam everywhere it was mentioned then 71% passing score is required uh, to pass the renewal assessment but i cleared the exam with 61% this is my experience uh yeah so how you can renew the exam so you have to log in to the microsoft uh, learning portal with your credentials uh, using which you actually gave the exam before so in my case i have taken the screenshot because i have already given the exams so once you log in so you can see something like this uh so uh to renew this button would be enable for you and if you renew the certification it extends to here it is showing 19th december 2023 because i initially earned the certification on 18th of december 2021 so once you pass the renewal certification exam it actually extends the validity for one year no matter when you give the exam so this is how it looks but as i have passed the exam uh, i cannot show the module uh, Uh, which are the modules uh, you need to go through so it actually shows on microsoft learning portal now if i uh, show you here this is my learning uh, dashboard so here i as i have recently passed the exam exams so here it is showing that this certification expires on 19th of december 2023 and i have earned this certification on 18th of december 2021 so 
and you can also click the uh, see the certification details so i have renewed this certification on 16th of september 2022 so this is how uh, you can uh, uh, earn uh, your certification and uh, the final certification uh, looks like something so if i show this this is my certificate uh, once you clear the renewal certification exam you can see some fireworks and then you can download your certificates hope uh, this helps you if you guys have any uh, comments or query please put your comments in the comment section thank you